Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Good evening. Thank you for coming tonight. My name is Tammy Pazaricki, and I own Pleasant Trees Adult Day and Consulting Services in Marlboro. I've been open for about six years now. I bought a home in Marlboro. It's a little ranch house on a lake um, that serves about 10 folks each day, Monday through Friday. And my goal is to give folks a purpose, a purpose to get up in the morning, a purpose to leave the house in the morning, get up, get dressed, go meet with friends. When you're diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it's very likely that you're going to isolate get depressed, withdraw from friends, withdraw from activities, not go to work, not volunteer. These are the things that are crucial in, in engaging with other people to slow down the dementia process, no matter what dementia process it is, Alzheimer's being the most prevalent, so that's why we're talking about it. Um, it's non-medical. So folks who are living at home with a spouse or a child um, or a caregiver, this allows the caregiver to get a break. Um, Pleasant Trees was designed because I, my grandmother developed Alzheimer's. And what I found, her and my grandfather were absolutely engaged socially every single weekend with their friends, out dancing, having a ball. They're not shy like and you are. They're they're yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not, yeah. <gasps> Um, and then they stopped. I saw depression in both of them. The will to move on, the will to go out, to be with people, the fear, and also the embarrassment that Alzheimer's can actually play. Um, so this is why I created Pleasant Trees. We all, there's senior centers in every town. And it's wonderful when you have an active senior who can go to a senior center, choose an activity that they like to do, initiate, engage with other people. But when you have Alzheimer's, that's nearly impossible to do. So a lot of times a spouse will, you know, come to me and say, well, gee, you know, I'd really like to go to the senior center and engage in these activities, but my wife has Alzheimer's. So what I provide is a home setting quiet little neighborhood. It's like going to their daughter's friend's house for lunch uh, for the day to engage in all kinds of different activities. Why is it important? Because they are at home and we want them to feel like they're still in at home, non-institutional setting. And they're not yet ready to receive the hands-on medical care. So there's that gap between the senior center, which is limiting to folks with Alzheimer's, and the medical model adult day health, because they don't yet need that care. And if you over-institutionalize someone, it progresses the disease quicker, OK? That's something I want you to think about. Social model versus no medical model. And we do follow Executive Office of Elder Affairs, puts out guidelines for support of social day. Um, we are ADA compliant. We go through local regulations, uh, such as the Marlboro Board of Health. We have CPR and first aid certification, um, and Alzheimer's trained, of course. The structure and routine of the day is very important to someone with Alzheimer's. Um, you, they need to depend on what's going to happen next. We all wake up, we all get up, most of us to an alarm clock, we know what to do next. Get in the shower, get ready for the day, have our breakfast, move on. These folks with Alzheimer's, even in the earlier stages, need that routine, need a purpose in the morning to get up and get out. 
Um, we give them facilitated options for the day. So it's everything from what I say we work with the whole body. We work with the mind, cognitive exercises, cognitive activities such as reminiscing and trivia and word games and all kinds of things to stimulate the brain. Exercise, physical exercise, game playing, formal exercise class, getting out for walks. And in a nice little neighborhood, it's easy. We, we're right by the lake. You go in the neighborhood. We're walking down the street, talking to neighbors and seeing the dogs and the kids playing. It's normal life. And this is something that they're hiding from, that pleasant trees can expose them to again. Um, there's a creative arts program. We do a lot of intergenerational activities and pet therapies and alternative therapies like that. Socialization is what happens in this environment. And socialization is the key to slowing down the progression of Alzheimer's or other dementia. Um, so we do a lot of small groups. So if you're only talking 10 folks, it's a very small knit group. They become like a little family. They may not know each other's name. They may not find the right words to say. They may tell the same story 80 times a day, but they're in an accepting environment. They're not being judged by other people. Um, so it's a very comfortable environment. This is what I'm hoping to do in multiple communities. We could have a Pleasant Trees in all sorts of communities that need this, need this to fill the gap of Alzheimer's care. Um, what we're doing, we're supporting their sense of self, their, their, their sense of being, who they are as a person. We're looking at what their likes are, dislikes, what, what are they passionate about? What did they do for a living? I'll give you a quick example of a woman who came earlier stages to mid stages, didn't want to come because she had worked as a housekeeper in a nursing home for 30 years, and she didn't need this now. I actually went to her home, worked it out with her son, and hired her. So she came every day, her son dropped her off, he gave me some cash, and I paid her for coming to Pleasantries because she had a purpose. She folded laundry, she, she helped my other guests by interacting with them, serving them meals. It was a way in which to give her a sense of purpose, and I think that's what I'm trying to get out to you. If you are retired, it is so important for you to find some volunteer work. Find something to do. Keep your brain active. Um, lots of information on the Alzheimer's Association website on how to, how can we prevent this disease process. And if you don't have any signs right now, there's lots you can do to try and prevent it. We're trying to have them be successful at what they do. So, program is a treatment model for Alzheimer's care. Um, there's a huge need out there. This is the most costly disease in the United States, just so you are all aware of that, because of the caregiver's hours it takes, the loss of work hours on the caregivers themselves. Um, and I would be happy to have you ask me questions at the end and also visit my website. Two things I do, Alzheimer's Caregiver Support Group and Create a Better Day Cafe. More information is on the table. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tammy. Uh, so, as I say, t when Tammy started, this is one of the first really programs in the area, but you're probably going to be seeing more of these. You're probably, you may be, uh, as, as this population changes, you may be seeing more right, right here in Northborough because you're going to be seeing, they're typically very small, so you get very small groups, and they try to, pr to encourage socialization. And that's the whole issue in the kind of early stages of dementia, to give folks a comfortable place to be. I've had several clients actually go to Tammy's uh, and for literally years. Um, and some just, some stayed at home, some died, some progressed to, to nursing home care. But, to ha but for, for purposes of this early, er, dealing with the early stages, this is really important. Um, um, finally, I asked Shelby Marshall to come. Uh, Shelby and her partner have something, a place called Right at Home, which is a, which is a home care service in West, actually they're, they're located in Westboro, they're centered in Westboro. Um, but I wanted you to understand how that works, right? And what the, what the, how hiring a home care agency works. I know a lot of people will hire 
friends or relatives or whatever, or you've got volunteers that are coming in, but you should understand what this possibility is. As I mentioned to you, if you're, you're looking at hiring a home care agency, you want to vet them, right? Among other things, you're probably going to want to talk to the folks at Baypath to make sure that the home care agency is saying, is doing what they're saying that they're doing. But I've asked Shelby to come because we've worked with them before and we found that our, our clients have been very happy with them. So, Shelby Marshall. 